Hello, everybody, and welcome back to CBS's new hit show, Candy Crush. As always, I am your host, Mario Lopez, and today we're going to be talking about the President of the United States. George Bush is... Oh, wait, hold on. My producer's saying something in my ear. What was that? I was talking over you. Oh, don't talk about politics? Because I don't know anything about politics. That's probably a good idea. Thanks, Dad. Love you. All right, today we're going to be talking about something else. Welcome back to WatchMojo.com. Today is another fascinating top 10 list about some top 10 stuff. So the other day I was scrolling through YouTube.com, which is a website that if you didn't know, I created. It's sort of a niche thing right now, but I'm hoping it takes off eventually. But anyway, I was scrolling through the trending page, as I often like to do, and I noticed this video by Looper called what the cast of Stranger Things looks like in real life. Now, I was really excited to click on this video. I was a big fan of uh, season one of Stranger Things. I'm pretty excited for season two. Um, but I found myself, the entire time I was watching that show, thinking, what do these kids look like in real life? Because they're all dressed up in like, normal clothes and they have these like normal hairstyles and, and they just kind of look like normal people which doesn't make sense because no one looks like that in real life. But finally my prayers have been answered. Someone made a video showing side-by-side -side comparisons of what these kids look like in the show and what they look like in real life. An excellent resource if you ask me. Let's check this out. Even though he had stage experience, Gaten Matarazzo- Okay, hold on. So, you, you, so you're gonna tell me that this kid who's clearly wearing a hat in the show now suddenly in real life doesn't wear a hat? Are you f kidding me? Looper, come on. I'm not an idiot. Clearly these are two different people and I'm not gonna let anybody tell me any differently. Let's check a few more of these out. Come on, Looper, you're, you're playing me for a fool here. You're too gonna put these two pictures of two completely different kids side by side and try to tell me that this kid over here who looks like he's upset is the same kid as this kid over here who looks like he's smiling. No one looks like this and then suddenly a few months later looks like this. All right? I'm smarter than this. I'm smarter than you. And this is I think we can all agree this was some pretty insightful stuff here. And I know for me personally, next time I watch the show, I'm gonna be watching it completely differently. Looper is one of those pages I feel like everyone has encountered on YouTube at some point or another. Uh, they're very similar to watchmojo.com. Basically, they're pop culture centric uh, videos with very enticing titles. Watch Mojo specializes more in top 10 lists. And if you're anything like I am, then a few months ago you spent uh, three straight weeks binging top 10 videos because you couldn't stop clicking on them. But after a while, if you've watched as many of them as I have, you start to realize, oh, they're all kind of the same. The commentary isn't really that interesting. Number one, Cheddar. Cheddar! Cheddar! A lot of times it's almost like they're doing a school project. They're basically reading the Wikipedia page for something for about 15 seconds while doing a slideshow of like three different pictures, and then they go on to number eight. Watch Mojo is a powerhouse on YouTube. They've got 15 million subscribers. They post five or six videos every day. The thing is though, uh, let's do the math for a second. They post five or six videos a day. Let's say five videos a day. They do that every single day, and they've done that for about the past 10 years. Um, so five, three, six, five times 10 is a hundred million uh, videos that they've ever made. So when you make that many videos, it's inevitable that every once in a while, there's gonna be some iffy ones. But I don't wanna focus on the negative. Um, that's just not really what I like to do on this channel. I'm a very positive person and I love to push positivity in every aspect of my life. So rather than like, I don't know, roast some of these videos, I'm gonna do the opposite and celebrate the most well thought out, interesting, and quite frankly, good YouTube video. This is a brand new segment I'm creating and I'm calling it Top 10, Top 10 Lists by Drew Gooden. Dot com. Or scratch, don't put that in. E edit that out. Buckle your seatbelts for this one, guys, because coming in hot is Top 10 Soups. Finally, we can all learn which soups are the most good soups. I hope clam chowder's on the list. Ooh, this one sounds pretty intense. Top 10 scariest movie shark attacks. Not for the faint of heart, I'm sure, but don't worry all you shark fans out there who love seeing movie shark attacks, but don't like the scary ones. We've got something on the lighter side for you. Top 10 hilarious movie shark attacks. Be sure to check that one out. I love that this sounds like an article that like a 13 year old boy would write. 
top 10 TV monsters that aren't even that scary. He's real defensive about the fact that nothing scares him. Yeah, I've seen the X-Files and honestly, it wasn't even that scary. Oh God, top 10 animated kids shows with surprisingly sexy women. Who came up with that? I gotta say guys, I went into this kids show with very low expectations of becoming but then I watched a little bit and I gotta be honest, surprisingly sexy women. I love this one. Top 10 video games that should never be adapted to film. So don't even think about it, idiot. If this was in past tense, like if it was top 10 video games that shouldn't have been adapted to film, that's whatever, that's an entirely different list. But the fact that most of these, and I watched the video, most of these are just hypothetical. I love the whole tone of like, nobody should do this. It's like, okay, fine, we, no one, we weren't going to. Put the gun down, sir. This one sounds fun. Top 10 space danger scenes. Top 10 die already movie scenes. God, these are so specific. Top 10 sultry video game vampires. <laughs> All right, we are officially halfway through the list, and as longtime fans of the show know, that of course means we're uh, gonna play a game now. Today's game is called, um, I, I made up some Watch Mojo titles, and I'm gonna say them, and also some real Watch Mojo titles, and Amanda has to guess which ones are real and which are fake. Um, dot com. So, uh, how are you, are you excited to play the game? Yeah. All right, so do you understand the rules? No, can you explain them, please? I, you were supposed to say yes, because I already explained the rules. I wasn't listening. You don't, do you not listen to me? Do you guys know the rules? I can't hear you. Don't talk. Top 10 hilarious workout scenes in movies. Top 10 skimpy female outfits in video games. That one's pretty sexy. Top 10 fifth installments in movies. Not fourth, third. Top 10 most Instagrammable spots in Canada. Top 10 funniest going into labor scenes. Uh, and then the last one, top 10 shrinking scenes in movies. I'm assuming that means uh, uh, scenes where the characters shrink in a movie. Um, all right, so start by telling me which ones you think are fake that I made up. The first one that comes to mind, in my opinion, is the top 10 shrinking scenes because the only one that I can think of is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and that's only two movies, so. I don't know They're all real. All these lists are real. Every single one that I said is a real video. It's a real YouTube video. You just got pranked. These two were both posted on the same day. The first one is top 10 most maniacal evil laughs in cartoons. Gotta rank them. You have to. And then four hours before that they uploaded Top 10 most exciting escape pod scenes. I love the ones where they're basically just whining. Top 10 reasons why being an adult is the worst. Huh, I gotta pay taxes. Top 10 cookies. Top 10 best smelling foods on earth. I guess I don't really get the food ones because like I could understand why you would click on some of these, like the, the more pop culture geared ones. But when it's just like top 10 foods we like, like, I don't know, what's the point? <laughs> I feel like maybe they were missing a word from this title. Top 10 celebrity racist comments. How about like top 10 worst celebrity racist comments? Cause when you just say top 10 racist comments, it almost sounds like you're a fan of these. This is too positive. Top 10 times our favorite celebs use the N word and we loved it. This one isn't that bad cause I know what they mean. Um, but top 10 celebrities who have their own alcohol I'm assuming that means like how Trump has his own wine and that sort of thing, like they have their own brands of alcohol. But I like to picture it more of like something you'd see on ClickHole, like top 10 celebrities who have their own alcohol and it's like, don't look now, but James Franco was spotted with a six pack of Stella. I like the sound of that. Save that for five hours. You guys know what that sound means. It is time to crown our winner. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one top 10 top 10 list uh, is top 10, top 10 lists. I won. I won. I didn't even know I was nominated. Surprise. Dad? That's right, son. Dad, I, I didn't even know you were here. I'm the producer of the show. Did you set this whole thing up for me? You bet I did. That's what family's for. Oh, but where's... 
I'm right here. Dad! Did I miss anything? <laughs> I can't believe you're here too! I'm always gonna be here for you, kid. Wow, this is the greatest day of my life! And I wouldn't miss it for the world. Neither would I. Neither would I. Dad! We're all here, son. I can't believe all three of you made it here. Just for me? Just for you. Oh gosh, I've got the best three gay dads in the world! Oh, there's one more surprise? What? Hello. <gasps> Former Vice President Joe Biden? On behalf of the United States of America, I just wanted to personally congratulate you on your achievement. Thank you so much, Mr. Former Vice President. Hello. Everybody I love is in the same room. I don't think this has ever happened before. Better get used to it. Cause we're moving in. We just signed the lease this morning. I think the only thing that could make this better is if everyone was- Drew, 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 Drew Chanting Drew, my name. Drew, 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 Drew,